We've taken the honey off of this colony. It's the end of the season and it's a great time to check on our varroa levels within the population. First thing we need to do though is find the queen because we're going to do an alcohol wash. The alcohol could kill the queen. We don't want that to happen. So we're going to go in, find the queen, and make sure that she is uh, sequestered before we start taking bees to look for varroa levels. In order to obtain a more consistent uh, analysis of the varroa in the colony, you should sample multiple frames of brood within the brood chamber. That way we can get a variety of bees with varroa on them within our sample and we're not just using one area of the colony for our analysis. Found a frame of brood, some worker bees on it. Put a tub in front of the colony so that if the, the bees miss the tub, they can walk back in the front entrance. Grip both ends of the frame quite firmly and shake the bees into the tub. You want to do this again for a multiple of frames, at least two to three, so that there's a variety of bees in your sample. Have the alcohol in the jar ready to go. I'm going to take approximately 300 bees. Put the apparatus back together. So the alcohol will remove the varroa from the bees' abdomens, backs, undersides, wherever they were hiding, and will separate them by using the screen within the two jars. So each jar is separated by a screen allows the varroa to pass through, the bees do not. So once we've shaken for the amount of time on the instructions, we can flip and allow the alcohol and the varroa to pass through and the bees stay above. Then we can count the number of varroa in the alcohol compared to the number of bees in the sample should be approximately 300 but it's a good idea to count and then you can look at what percentage of infestation you have for the amount of varroa to the number of bees. Mm -hmm. 